is New Day Northwest. Now from the Premiera Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning. Welcome to New Day Northwest. First up today, Portland and Seattle chefs are getting ready to face off in a friendly cooking competition down in Oregon this weekend. I think it's friendly. The 18th annual Wild About Game celebrates farmers, ranchers, butchers, and purveyors of specialty game and high-quality meats. Joining me now to tell us more about this event is Chef David Nichols from Ryder. It's good Hi. to have good you here. Thank you so much for having me. So is it a friendly competition or does it's, it get a little serious? It's friendly. You know, the Seattle slash Portland thing yeah, is a, li a little heated, but you know, it's friendly. It's <laughs> It's fun to have uh, the Seattle chefs go down to Portland and kind of cook against them. So it's a it's a fun event. Well, and it's a different thing. Look at this. It's it, it's the typical food event that you expect high quality, lots of things, but it's focused on an area that not a lot of people know enough about, which is game. If well, you're a game, meat eater. absolutely. And so uh, Nikki Meats, uh, based out of Portland, they kind of throw this on. This is their 18th annual event, and so. Um, it's something fun. So they pair, um, I got paired with uh, venison actually, mm -hmm. and so uh, I'm cooking venison, and uh, today we're actually going to be cooking bison. But it's a fun event that people kind of uh, don't get accustomed to eating meats that um, it's right. not steak it's brand or chicken, new. So, and you might actually like it. You, you never know. It, so. so, what are we making today? Uh, so You've today, got yeah, lots, we got of, lots stuff. of things going on. So, today we're going to do a uh, smoked uh, bison short rib. Um, I've so never first, had bison. You haven't? So, nope. it's actually really good. It's a low in cholesterol, nice sweet flavor. And so, this one's actually coming out of uh, Oregon uh, from a family farm. Um, that's been doing it for many, many years. They have about 500 cattle um, out of on 5,000 acres. They just kind of roam mm. free that's on uh, on grass, that's which a is great. A lot of room. So, um, so we're gonna have a start with a hot, hot pan here. Kay. This has already been smoked. Um, we're gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper here. You're and generous with that. Well, you gotta I like go it. generous with this, is because it's a nice piece of meat. So, um, oh, I the think, ribs on the other side. Interesting. You have the bone in right there, and so this yeah. is gonna take a little while. So, all right, we're gonna put that in there. And that's gonna sear off. And then while that's searing off, did you use olive oil? So that's an, a, an olive oil. Um, we're gonna kind of nice, decent olive oil to get some nice flavor in there. Okay. And so while this is searing off, I'm gonna have you pass me those vegetables in that bowl. There you go. Um, and this is just gonna cook with all this braising liquid. So we're gonna use some of these aromatics in here. And so um, I like to use some sweet things in here to yep. kind of with the bison. So we're gonna put apples an apple are in so here, good right now. especially that's if they're great. in season. So um, my parents actually have an apple orchard in Central oh, Washington. So these are actually coming from them. So you're kind um, of an apple expert then. Well, and it is good. It's a great way to get a little bit of sweetness without anything that adds a lot of calories. Absolutely. And it goes so well with the, the veggies that absolutely. are in season. Absolutely. And so all of these vegetables are going to kind of, vegetables and some fruit, we're going to kind of toss right them in here, there. right in with the bison. We're all going to th throw a, uh, an onion in here. It's nice to leave these kind of big because later after a while we're just going to strain all these vegetables out. And so oh, I was you don't, yeah, don't want to leave them too. Chunks. Too small, or else it's kind of when you strain it all out, the process of getting them all out makes it a little bit more difficult. So, you guys, this smells so good. We go in there. It's our it's apple and everything beautiful. else in there. So we're gonna turn this guy up a little bit until like we start it. to hear some, hear it talking to us. It's almost. It's whispering. You hear it right there, right? <laughs> there it goes. Just a little bit. So all right. So while on. that's cooking up, tell me about this. So this is it. So this is gonna be our, our finished guy here, right here. So oh. this is about after um, about eight hours, very very slow. So we braise this mm -hmm. um, in some um, veal stock. So you can actually pour about all this liquid into here. All of actually, it. All of that. Okay. Um, so this is just gonna cook for about, like I said, long long time at a very slow temperature, um, and our finished product gets this. So you can kind of see once it's all done, yep. the bones are kind of peeling away from the meat there. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually see a couple of these are actually kind of. Pulling out of here. That's oh when you kind of gosh. know when it's done. So this has just become super, super tender. Did you add any wine or anything, or is it there, thickening this is up like that on its own? pretty much thickened up by its own, and all those, all the um, bones, kind of the natural um, marrow and stuff in there, kind of just thickens it up naturally. Wow. Um, and then so today we're actually going to pair this up today with a uh, um, some corn grits, which that we have here. So good. Um, and so we're going to heat this up with a little bit of milk here, just to loosen that guy up. Now tell us, I grew up eating grits, my okay. mother was a huge fan, yeah. but if people are afraid of grits, don't be, it's just like polenta. Absolutely, it's I think that, you know, if people also don't like this, they can substitute out something. I mean, mm -hmm. even putting potatoes something else, potatoes, mashed potatoes would look, go great with this. Um, even just putting some roasted potatoes or anything that's kind of like in season kind of right now. So um, it's just kind of whatever their preference kind of is. Mm -hmm. I think like kind of coming into the end of summer right now, corn is still very, very good right Absolutely. now. And so we're kind of using some of that kind of with this. So we're gonna kind of heat all of this stuff up right now. And while we're doing good. that, you can hand me that uh, that pear right pears, there. Pears. I was hoping the pears were involved. The pears are involved, so <laughs> still ap apples and pears. They're they're in season, so we're going to kind of use that. And at the restaurant, Ryder, um, 
which I work at, um, we kind of specialize in utilizing um, local um, seasonal ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, we are a wood-fired seafood restaurant um, located in 7th and Pine. and so I was just about to ask where you are, 7th yeah. and Pine. So Can I have one little slice? Absolutely. I mean, just a tax no, for helping just a little course, bit. Of you know, course, so it's a great little breakfast snack, right? So <laughs> I love pears. You can have that. So, and we're going to dress this actually with just a little bit of olive oil. And you've got all kinds of other good looking fall yep. things up there. And so, yeah, up there, that's going to be all of our, our goodies to finish all those dishes Yum. up right there. So, so. So, if we're trying a game recipe at home, mm -hmm. what's kind of the easiest thing to start with? You know, I mean, honestly, bison is a great thing. Um, and the fact that it's like, it eats kind of like beef. There's mm -hmm. a lot of different cuts that are very similar to beef, such as a short rib. I mean, there's a beef short rib and there's a uh, bison short rib. Um, so I think this is something that people don't eat a lot. Mm -hmm. but, you can I just mean, throw it in the pot and let it braise. Let it go. And there's also um, other steaks that are very similar to beef as well. And it's also from here, which I think is a great thing as well. So I mean, I think if someone's isn't very, you know, privy to game meats, this is a great one to kind of start off with. To start with. Um, now, have you cooked great. with venison before? You know, I have. So when I first uh, moved out to Seattle um, from New York, I think we have to um, move this baby. Move over that guy's just making. There we go. She's beeping at us. Yeah. Um, I cooked with some um, um, some venison, and you know, it's, I think it's kind of one of those things that are kind of it's out here. Um, the one that we're I'm doing with uh, um, down in uh, Mountain Hood for uh, Wild Wild Game. It's coming from Hawaii, actually. Wow. So um, Nikki's uh, does this great program with the Hawaiian venison. So. Um, they have a great program that they work with uh, the people down there that they bring all their things. stuff. So, which is How many wonderful. chefs so, are involved in this? So there's eight chefs. So four from Seattle and uh, paired up against uh, right. four from uh, Portland. So, um, and then while you played it up, yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about how you decide who wins. Well, so there's, um, <laughs> so I'm up against another uh, gentleman out of Portland and he's going to be going, he has a uh, uh, the venison dish as well. And so we kind of go head to head. Um, and then we are judged kind of individually, um, and then there's a overall winner as well, which are um, so there's three judges that kind of come in um, to judge us all. So that smells so good. Yeah, so we're just going to lay this guy right on top of there, all right. and all those natural juices that have kind of been braising on there, we're going to kind of it smells delicious. Put it that looks on a little bit there. like the Flintstones, right? Yeah, absolutely. Huge. Let's get this little piece out of there. Know. And so now what we're going to do with this? We're going to take some of these pears that we cut up and just kind of pop those in here. What great flavors. And you've got some, it looks like sweetened pecans and yep. corn and blue cheese Absolutely. and all kinds of just amazing so These things. are just uh, some sweet, you want to taste one of those guys? Uh, yes, they go I do. Great with the, uh, <laughs> you know, can't say no to some good food in the morning, right? Don't ask me twice, so that's okay. Yeah, pears and, and sweet walnuts or pecans are not a bad they thing go to really have. Well together. Again, they go really well with this. Uh, with the, the bison cheese. as well and the blue cheese as well. I was hoping that was the next ingredient. Yep. Are we going to get to the microgreens? That would Absolutely. excite me also. And the blue cheese actually pairs really well with this because it is such a lean cut of meat that blue cheese gets a little bit of fattiness to it well, as well. That's an so. interesting thing because I would have thought it might have some more meat, uh, some yeah. more fat to it. It's but actually not a really. much leaner uh, cut of meat actually with people. And what and is the, this? This is here is a uh, tomato jam. So it's just uh, tomatoes that we cook down with a bunch of sherry vinegar, um, chili flakes. We cook this for about three hours wow. until it becomes a nice jam and it just has a very intense tomato flavor. This looks like this might be a satisfying meal. It might be. You, you, know, be, you this, feel like you ate something right? after this. Then we're just going to finish off with some uh, microgreens here. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So. Appreciate it. The Wild About Game event this weekend is down in Welsh's, Oregon. It's sold out, but one lucky person is going to win a pair of tickets to the event. To enter to win, just head over to New Day's Facebook page and comment on the post that's pinned to the very top of the page. Comment with your favorite food or whatever you want to say, and we'll draw a winner tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Sounds like such fun. Up next, why this bus riding Seattle dog just made it into the latest Ripley's Believe It or Not book. We'll be right back. Thank you. That was awesome. Perfectly timed. That looks. This New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux.